Bro, let's watch something on Netflix. Say no more. Put something on then. Alright, cool. Let's look. <sighs> Bro, you passed a couple of decent shows already. No, they're dead, man. <sighs> Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Bro, please. There's nothing to watch on Netflix. <sighs> and he said it. I, I think it's fair to say that since we're all in lockdown, I'm pretty sure a lot of us have been watching Netflix these days. And I got some advice when it comes to Netflix. Because everyone is so quick to complain that Netflix has no good movies or TV shows when I think it's just wrong. Unless you're one of them bang outs that just sits on their bed all day banging out Netflix shows on their MacBook here, yeah, just binging everything, Ooh. then there still is a decent amount of stuff to watch. For example, yeah, let me give you a couple good suggestions. Alright, so after being gone for about five years, yeah, The Office has come back to Netflix and I banged the whole series out about five years ago until they took it off, but it's back now. And me personally, yeah, one of the greatest shows ever, like my personal favourite show of all time and it's a banging TV show. There's like 190 plus episodes as well, so you've got plenty of episodes to binge through. That show literally got me through the second half of high school and I went to a grammar school, so... Uh yeah, it helped out a lot. Another banging show to watch is People Just Do Nothing. It's basically like The Office, but it's set in a block in London. Like, it's jokes. Umbrella Academy. Now, this show, it took me by surprise. I was not expecting it to be one of the best shows that I've seen. Like, you know, I'm waiting for season three right now. But it always kept coming up on my Netflix recommended. So I thought, you know what, yeah, let me just watch it. And, bro, I did not regret it at all. But whilst I'm here, yeah, let me just tell you what not to watch, okay? Now, this is going to be a bit of an unpopular opinion, yeah? But Money Heist, oh my days. Okay, so... This ain't really a spoiler, yeah, and I'm giving you a bit of a warning now, but yeah, it ain't really a spoiler, but Money Heist, the whole thing, if you didn't know, it's all about these guys and trying to rob a bank or the Royal Mint or Spain or something like that. Let's just call it a bank for now, yeah? So tell me why there's, I think there's at least, I think there's like five seasons, the fifth season or sixth season coming out now, but whatever. Tell me why season two, episode eight, where I stopped watching, why are they still in the bank, bro? I'm on, I'm near the end of season two and they're still in the bank. Are you not supposed to, have, like, have you not... Been, would you have not robbed the whole bank by the first season and like maybe got out and you know something else happened? No, like it's too slow moving and you know a lot of people watched it in Spanish because you know the show is in Spanish and a lot of people are saying you know you've got to watch it in Spanish but I can't lie, I was getting bored, I was on my phone half the time and I can't be on my phone whilst you know watching it, I just have to listen to it in English dub because nah nah nah. It's too slow moving man, like by season 2 episode 8 at least 5 characters should have got quenged off yeah, they should have made bare money. And yeah, like, it's too slow moving. How this? No, 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 too slow moving. Next one, next one, next one, next one. Breaking Bad. Now, about five years ago, I watched Breaking Bad, but I never finished it. I never watched the final season. Now, I don't know why. I was in like year nine or year ten or something. It was one of the first shows I properly, like, I properly watched in it. And I don't know why, but I just never finished it. But in this lockdown, I rewatched the whole series, and I can tell you, like, by far, that's one of the best shows I've ever seen. It is just crazy, and like, you have to watch it. Breaking Bad is a must watch. It's so good, they even made a movie about it, and they've got a spin off which I'm watching now, like, it's sick. The last thing I'm gonna recommend here is Dead To Me, and this is the whole reason I made this video. You see, when it comes to this show, it just kept coming up on my recommended, and it looked interesting, I can't lie, the concept was quite cool, but it just didn't look like something I'd usually watch. Because the whole show is based around the relationship of two middle-aged white women living in America, and then you got me, some Asian Pakistani guy from South London, 20 year old, you'd be thinking like, why would someone like me wanna watch? But I watched the first episode and it was sick. I even showed my boys Ali and Fardeen the show and they finished season two before me. They, they banged out so much. But yeah, moral of the story, don't judge a book by its cover. And that's the problem with a lot of the shows on Netflix. Like, I'll see something on Netflix and it will look quite interesting, but I'll just think like, it's not, not gonna like it's made specifically for me, so I'm just gonna allow it and find something else. And because of that, me and you, yes, you, I'm talking to you, we end up spending flipping hours we're just searching on Netflix like that should be a show in itself just browsing on Netflix because that is a source of entertainment more time everyone's just scrolling on Netflix and not even watching anything so that's why when Dead to Me came up on my Netflix I said to myself you know what yeah bun just scrolling and browsing for ages let me just watch the first episode it might be decent and I was surprised so this is the reason why I made this video yeah you yes you stop scrolling and browsing for hours looking for something on Netflix which you think is gonna be the perfect show anything that you think just looks right yeah? just watch the first episode if you don't like it watch something else at least you tried it isn't it otherwise you'll just be sitting there scrolling for years so there are plenty of stuff to watch on netflix you're just being too picky anyways guys i just bust you with some 30 netflix suggestions so thank me later and if you really don't like anything that's on netflix why don't you just go read a book or something exactly that's what i thought no one wants to read a book anymore <laughs>
And before I end the video, make sure you don't cut without liking, subscribing if you haven't already, and leave a suggestion for any good shows in the comments. I'd like to see what you guys are watching as well. But yeah, shout out all the Zandam show and support, and I'll see you guys in the next video in a bit.